A multi-cell storm is a group of storms in a cluster, moving as a single unit, with each cell in the unit at a different point of the thunderstorm life cycle. For the purposes of this lesson, we are considering squall lines, another form of multi-cell storms, as their own entity. As a multi-cell cluster moves along its path, storms take turns being the dominant cell. New cells form along the south and west flanks of the cluster, while dying storms are typically in the east and northeast portions of the cluster. Multi-cell storms can be dangerous severe weather producers, with large hail being a primary threat, along with downburst winds. Weak tornadoes also can happen out of multi-cell cluster storms. Typically, multi-cell clusters happen in environments with modest wind shear and or weak capping. Multi-cell storms occur more frequently than supercells, and typically they occur in less favorable environments than those which support supercells. However, these clusters are responsible for a lot of severe weather warnings each year. Multi-cells typically can last for hours or as short as just an hour or two. Multi-cell cluster paths can sometimes be erratic as new cells form along the cluster's flank and severe weather typically occurs when dominant cells reach towards their peak intensity.